Welcome to the live demo section for our GV recording server. My name is Aaron. So for this first part of our live demo, I'll be demonstrating how you can add uh, IP cameras to recording server manually or via scanning. And then the second live demo would be how to set up passive connection from the camera to recording server. And then the third live demo would be how to configure your storage settings in a recording server. For the second part of the uh, live demo, I'll show you how you can create EMAP for recording server and then uh, how you can do advanced query and what the uh, query does and then next uh, how you can connect recording server with our GV control center and display the uh, video streams from recording server into uh, matrix. So, okay, so before you can uh, access your recording server web UI, you have to uh, enable the recording server service so you can go to here, your toolbar and then go to this server service manager. You can right click on it here. You can either start or stop your recording server service or you can uh, click on this to access the web UI after you have started the service. You can also type in the uh, IP address of the recording server directly on a remote PC's IE browser to uh, remotely connect to recording server after you have started up the uh, service. So here you can type in the IP address of your recording server and then you type in your login information. Okay, once you've done that, you'll be logged into your recording server's uh, web UI. Okay, so let's look at the first part uh, here. You have your information uh, section where you can uh, check your connection status of all your IP cameras. So you can see if uh, which ones are recording, which ones are disconnected, and their recording policy, and then their write speed currently. Uh, in the storage information, here you'll be able to see uh, how much this space you have available for your uh, hard drives and their current write speed. For the client connection information, here you'll be able to see who is uh, assessing uh, so for the uh, server information, here you can see uh, what's your recording server version, your recording server current time, your CPU usage, uh, memory, uh, current disk write speed, and then your network usage. And then here you can see a list of all the uh, network cards in your recording server. And then uh, you can see also see the uh, bandwidth usage, the download and the upload speed. And then here you can see your recording server service if they are start or stop and then uh, your remote view log service also if it's uh, start or stop. Next is the uh, camera section uh, under install camera. Here is where you can add cameras to a recording server. I'll go through this later in the uh, live demo section. Uh, next is the uh, camera settings. Here you can uh, edit your camera settings like uh, brightness, etc. Your streaming, your resolution. Also if you want to uh, record audio. And then here you can have uh, some record settings like uh, uh, minimum kick days. Also your record policy if you want to uh, record round the clock, motion detection, IO trigger or schedule. And then your record path. And then here you can also set a schedule for the uh, recording. Next is the uh, motion detection settings for the cameras. So here uh, you can draw detection zones for your cameras. So you can also set your sensitivity here. And then do take note of this. Uh, use camera motion detection to reduce server option. This is only for uh, GVIP cameras. If you are using third party IP cameras, then you have to uh, uncheck this option. Okay, let's go on to the uh, server part. Uh, so, first we have the uh, service. Here you can start or stop your recording server or video gateway service. Okay, next part we have the uh, install wizard. This is just to guide uh, new users step by step on installing uh, cameras to recording server and then uh, setting the uh, storage and then to start the service. For the uh, general setup here, uh, you can uh, rename your recording server. Also, you can change the port. You can also set your keep days here, maximum 180 days, uh, enable or stop uh, the uh, recycle. Also here, you have some uh, backup options. Uh, take note of this, allow Joe Vision IP device login. You have to enable this if you want passive connection from uh, GV IP devices to a recording server. Next is the uh, notification. Here you can choose which uh, events you want to send uh, email alerts. Also here you can uh, configure your email setup. 
Next for the network part here, you can choose uh, which port. Also, if you want to enable uh, DDNS or not, you can set it here. For the port settings here, you can change your ports if you want to use uh, some other ports rather than the uh, default ones. Uh, for the mail service here, you can set up your mail server settings. Also, uh, you have the uh, remote view log here. You can set the uh, port and how many connections and the ideal time for your remote view log. Okay, next go on to the uh, advanced management part. Here you can uh, enable or disable your Google Map for eMap. Also the uh, eMap editor, which I'll go through later in the live demo section. Also, uh, if you are using GIS, you can set it here. VM, VSM, uh, our GV backup center, failover center. Also, you can uh, configure our GV PoE switch you, if you have it here. Okay. Also, uh, to uh, set the uh, user accounts for recording server, and also the uh, advanced query to query events, which I will also go through later in the uh, live demo. Okay, so first I'll teach you how you can add cameras manually. Click on Add New Host. Here you can uh, choose which mode you want. Okay, so active mode is uh, where recording server connects to the cameras. Uh, passive mode is where the cameras connect to recording server passively. So. Uh, Passive mode is only available for a GV IP cameras, where active mode can work for a third-party IP camera. So first, you type in the uh, IP address of your camera, and then make sure the ports are correct, and then the uh, login information. After that, click uh, Auto Detect. Okay, once it's done, click on OK, and you can assign the channel. So let's say for now I have a channel 2 available. I'll assign it to uh, channel 2. Okay, so the camera is added to uh, recording server manually. So uh, to add camera by scanning, you can click on the search button. Okay, and then uh, you can choose which network card to search for. And then click on search. Okay, once the search is completed, uh, you can see a uh, list of all the uh, IP cameras in your network. So you can choose one, which one you want to uh, install. Click on Add, and then you can also assign the channel. Okay, this way you can add cameras by scanning, and then click Save when you are done. Okay, next I'll show you how you can connect GVIP device to a recording server using passive connection. Okay, so go to your IE, and then uh, IP address of the uh, GVIP camera here. Log in to your GVIP camera web UI. Okay, once you are inside the IP camera's web UI, go to Event and Alerts. There is a video gateway recording server option here. Click on it. Okay, here you have to activate this. And then type in the uh, IP address of your recording server. And then make sure the port is matching. And then the uh, login information. Over here. In a general setup here, this is the uh, login information that you will use for the uh, passive mode in IP cameras. Okay, so if the uh, connection is done, then you can see that it's connected here and the connection time. Okay, next uh, you can go back to your recording server, go to your install camera, IP device list. Here you should be able to find the uh, camera in the this here, passive mode. Okay, click add and then select the channel. Okay, the camera is added to a recording server using passive connection mode. Okay, next I'll go on to the third part of the live demo where I'll demonstrate how you can configure your storage settings in a recording server. Okay, go to the storage path here. Here you will do add storage here. And then once you add the storage, you can add different uh, paths or hard drives. So for instance, I'm direct cut into uh, different storage for uh, storage 1 and storage 2 and then you, you can also configure which cameras you want to record into each uh, storage path okay here you can take the uh, if you want to recycle and watch your recycle threshold and then click save okay done 
Okay, so first let me demonstrate how to add EMAP to a recording server. Uh, go to recording server web UI. There's an advanced management here. Uh, go to EMAP, then the EMAP editor. Okay, just remember that you have to uh, enable Google Map here. Uh, by default, it's uh, disabled. And then for the API key, you can ignore this and just use our default value here. Uh, if you are uh, buying, uh, if you want to uh, buy some uh, services from Google, then you can sign up for uh, Google's Map API key here. Click on it, and it should bring you to uh, this window. So as you can see, you have the uh, Google Map ready. Uh, click on Add Map, so you can rename your map. Let's say uh, GV HQ. If you have any floor plan, you can import the image. Okay. Okay. So let's say I want to place this on the map where uh, the uh, Jovision Taiwan HQ is, somewhere around here. Okay. I can uh, drag cameras directly onto your uh, map, or I can uh, go into my floor plan and directly drag the cameras onto the floor plan. Something like this. Okay. You can also change the uh, direction of the camera icons on the maps. Okay. So once you have finished configuration this, uh, you can actually do an e-map query and also a composite information query in uh, the advanced query section. Okay, so let me go on to the next part where we demonstrate how to uh, do the advanced query for our recording server. So under advanced management, click on advanced query. So you pop up this window where you can do all the queries. So we have a live view query here. You can do either channel by channel, single channel of all the uh, cameras in uh, recording server. Or you can do a multi window layout query. Okay. So you select whichever cameras that you want to see and then click on that query. Okay, so all the cameras in recording server will be shown here. Next, you can also do an email query. So let's say uh, I have uh, cameras on directly onto uh, Google Map. I can uh, right click and do a street view, or I can right click and do a live view. Next, uh, you can also uh, go on to the uh, inner layer of the maps. You can also do live view for cameras on the uh, layout. Okay. Next, we have the uh, remote playback section. Here, you can do event list query. So you can choose which cameras you want to query. So let's say I pick one uh, CPW. Okay, and then here you can choose which uh, event types that you want to query. Okay, select a range. Let's say uh, today, I do a query. So these are all the uh, events that I have. Okay, so next we also have the uh, preview query, where you will see a snapshot of the uh, all the uh, cameras in a recording server. So you can click on the snapshot, and then you can do a playback. So for composite information query, you can see uh, the event list here, also Google Map, and then the uh, single player here for remote playback. So let me choose one of the uh, events. Okay. So on Google Map, you'll be able to see an icon here on the camera. That means uh, we are currently playing back on the camera here. This is the uh, remote playback of the event. Okay, next we have the uh, system log query where you can uh, query for events like uh, motion detection or video loss or even uh, these errors, system start or exit, your recycle. Okay, So same with all the queries, you can choose which camera to query and then select a date. Okay, So here you can see all the uh, event system events that's happening. Okay, Next we have the uh, behavior log query where you can also do uh, the same query, but this time it's a behavior like uh, if you add a host or you start your video gateway, start stop view log, uh, or even uh, save save audio. So as you can see here, we have some uh, behaviors like uh, start recording, deleting of host, 
or setting a uh, passive connection from GVIP device to recording server. Last one would be a login logout query. So here you can see uh, which users log in or log out. So next we have the uh, chart analysis. So here you can do some uh, query of uh, events and then we uh, generate a pie chart or even a bar chart for your uh, review. So first one would be system analysis of event. Okay, so here you can see all the uh, events on a, like a bar chart. Okay, you can also choose a pie chart or even line graph. Okay, so uh, next is the uh, event file size. So uh, go to this. Okay, so let's say uh, uh, I have a motion and a round the clock uh, recording for different cameras. Then you can see uh, what uh, the recording size for each uh, type of recording event is. So from here, you can see that the uh, motion recording for today, it's around uh, 33 gig, whereas for the around the clock, it's around 55 gig today. So next is the uh, event count. Okay, so you can see here for today, uh, we have uh, 444 counts of motion and uh, 456 counts of round the clock from all the uh, IP cameras today in recording server. Next would be the uh, time file size. So here you can see the uh, different uh, recording file size for each hour. So this is from uh, 10 a.m. It's around 10 gigabyte for all the cameras in the recording server. For around 11 a.m., that's around 11 gig. And then for 12 p.m., uh, 12 gig, so on and so forth. Lastly, we have the utility download where you can download some uh, GV apps like uh, DM MultiView, uh, GV Multicast, or Remote View Lock if you need them. Okay, the last live demo would be to demonstrate how you can add a recording server to a GV Control Center and then how to display the streams from recording server onto our G GV Control Center's matrix. Okay, so first, go to a recording server here on the uh, GV Control Center's uh, host list, right click. Click on uh, Add Recording Server. Okay, type in the name of the recording server and then the IP address. And then type in the uh, login information. Click on Update Information. Okay, successful. Click OK. So here you will be able to see all the uh, cameras in the recording server is added to Control Center. So how to display it on the uh, matrix? Here, right click, show. Okay, so you can drag it onto uh, any monitor. Let's say if you have a video wall. Okay, next go to here, right click, add group. Okay, so matrix tree. Okay, right click, set startup to matrix. Select the one that you uh, just set. Okay, then you drag the cameras into your matrix. Okay, next uh, click on this matrix and then you run the uh, matrix tree that you just uh, created. So you uh, start the uh, matrix, then you will be able to see uh, all the cameras on the uh, matrix. Okay, so this is the end of the uh, live demo. Uh, if you need more product information, you can go to our website at www.jovision.com.tw. If you have any technical questions and you need our help, you can also email them to support at jovision.com.tw. Thank you.